we're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right there Woo. Let me fix my curls You've tuned into Kelly's world That's right, boys and girls Welcome to Kelly's world Well, friends, it's finally time Time for what? Time for your girl, Callie Ferguson, to become a real rock star. Woo. I mean, I think I've always had what it takes to be one. I do all kinds of rock star things. I love styling and profiling. I love to get a crowd cheering. And most of all, I love to rock out to music. The only thing I've been missing all these years is one teensy, weensy, tiny little thing. I don't play a rocking instrument. It's just a little problem, no biggie. But that's about to change, because I've decided to learn how to play the most rocking instrument of any rock band. The drums! I know what you're thinking. Callie, you already rock at playing the drums. But friends, that was just imaginary. That means we used our imagination, which is so fun. But I'm talking about real drums. My parents want me to practice on pillows first, but I'm not sure why. The sound of a real drum is so much better. My mom's friend, who plays drums at church, let me borrow this drum to get started. It's called a snare drum, and this is a drumstick. Okay, I'll rock out with this little drum, and then onto the drum set. Rock star drumming, I'm a coming. In the one, two, three, four. Huh? Wait, well, let me try that again. And a one, two, three, four. Whoa! I thought it would be just a teensy, little, wincy problem that I couldn't play the drums. But as it turns out, it's a big problem! Playing the drums is hard! How am I ever going to become a rock star in a real band if I can't play the snare? Maybe our Bible story for today will help me tackle this big problem! It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from 1 Samuel chapter 17. King Saul and the Israelite army were in a fight against the Philistine army. One Philistine warrior named Goliath was huge. Goliath told them to send out one man to fight against him. If the Israelites beat Goliath, then the Israelites would win. But if Goliath beat them, then the Philistines would win. The Israelites were terrified. There was a young man named David taking care of his sheep. When his dad asked him to bring food to his brothers, they were in the Israelite army. So David went and found his brothers. That's when he heard Goliath daring one of the Israelites to fight him. David says, who does this guy think he is? Challenging the army of God to fight him. King Saul heard what David said and asked David to come and talk with him. David told Saul, don't lose hope because of Goliath. I will fight him. Saul thought David was way too young and small, but David told Saul as a shepherd, he fought lions and bears and protected sheep. David was sure that he could fight Goliath and God would protect him. With no armor, David took five stones and a slingshot. David shouted, you come to fight me with a sword, but I come to fight you in the name of God. Today, God will give me the victory that the whole world will know that God is with us in Israel. David put one stone in his sling and slung it at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath right in the forehead, causing Goliath to die and fall down face first. David won against Goliath because he knew God would help him overcome his big challenge. God is on our side too. When we face big things in our own lives, we can trust that God will help us. We can say, God, you help me overcome big things. Looking at the snare drum and drumstick, I think I feel a little bit like David must have felt. I'm not staring at any Goliath, but I gotta rock, and learning how to drum is a big deal. Maybe I should do what David did. Dear God, I really, really want to learn how to play the drums, but it seems impossible. It feels too big to overcome, and I need your help. 
So please help me, God. Thank you. Amen. Here I go. Check it out. Did you hear that? I'm getting better. Oh, yeah. I need to keep practicing, but I feel like I'm going to be able to rock out after all. Wow, it's really true. God, you help me overcome big things. Hey, friends. We all have big things to overcome. Maybe we need to overcome learning something new. Sometimes, we need to overcome being afraid or sad. Whatever it is, God can help you overcome it. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye! Psalm 147.7 Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp.